next, we'd like to welcome up Encouraging Healthy Lifestyles and Communities. This group has been working in Chinatown to help students develop, uh, adopt healthy lifestyles and influence their community. Uh, please welcome Encouraging Healthy Lifestyles and Communities. Hi, we are Encouraging Lifestyles and Communities, and my name is Odalis Roldan. Hello, my name is Shadarian Crumbly. Hello, I'm Francesca. And we have the rest of our team here, Boala, Leslie, Francisco, and Amy. So we wanted to encourage kids to like have a healthier lifestyle and to be able to encourage that lifestyle within their family and their community so it would keep on going for generations and throughout their life, not just now. So we worked with the Chinese American Service League where the children would go in after school to do their homework. So the kids were there. And we were there for four weeks. We would go once a week for an hour and we would, go, we would work with two groups, a group of five and eight year olds and nine to 12 year olds. So the first day we worked on exercise. We had really excited, energetic kids that really wouldn't want to sit down. And they were really challenging. So we taught them yoga poses and other forms of exercises that they could do without having to be like in a gym. And we stressed the importance that, of having a healthy lifestyle and exercising every day. So they were really eager to learn about things. Um, we also encountered a character named Raymond, and he was a very energetic um, class clown and also class leader. So on the first day, we actually um, had trouble controlling the, um, the class. But on day two, we decided to work with that, and we established some rules. And after that, they started to get calmer and calmer, and we started to um, we discuss healthy aspects, and we discussed the negative effects that sugar has on the body. And so what we did was trace the body of this kid, whose name is Victor. And we put healthy organs on his body. And we said, OK, so this is how your organs look when you're eating vegetables and whatnot. But after you chugged like 50 sodas, we put pictures of sugar damaged organs. And they were really disgusting. And all the kids were really disgusted and said that they weren't going to eat sugar for like the rest of their lives and everything. <laughs> but it was, it was really fun. And it was really good to know that we actually had that positive impact on them. Um, Day three, we also um, discussed recycling. We said what it was, and we also told them what they could do to recycle. We had a recycling game where they would um, say what you could recycle, what you couldn't recycle, and we had like, little boys and, girls, boys and girls competition, and it was really fun. So we had a lot of fun working with the kids, and on the fourth day, we wanted to end with a big bang and a big project that the kids would have to remember from the four weeks. We ended up getting recycled water bottles and cutting them in half and turning them into pots to pot, pot plants in. And the kids enjoyed this a lot and they learned a lot from it. One thing that we could have done better though was give them an information and session about the environment um, to connect it to that aspect. So we really appreciate our teachers more because it was so challenging teaching the kids. Um, so yeah, thanks to all those teachers out there. And um, we started off slow to begin with because everyone on the team was from different places around the city. And we ended up util utilizing a lot of technology and video chatting and that was really helpful to bring us together. So the kids surveyed said that they had fun participating and they all learned something. So we thought that we completed our goal in impacting young lives so that they'll be better community members in the future. So we wanted to say thanks to Julia and Adam, our mentors, for being there with us and helping us and to Connie and Maria for helping us and also going to some of the sessions that we had.